everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am finally back with another video. Today I'll be sharing with you how to create these reverse canvases. To start off, you'll need some canvases. You can find these at any craft store in the art section. They usually sell them in multiple packs. To remove the wrapped canvas from the frame, you will need a rotary cutter or an X-Acto knife and carefully cut through the canvas along the outside of the staples. You will end up with two pieces, the canvas sheet and the bare frame. The remaining strips of canvas can be easily pulled out and you don't have to worry about removing the staples because those will be covered later on. When you turn your frame over, this is how they look like. For this next step, you can either stain or paint your frame. I decided to stain mine, so I used a little sponge and stained the front of the frame. You don't need to do the back, but make sure you do stain the edges. After letting the frames dry completely, they should look something like this. Now it's time to measure the inside of the frame to make sure the design fits. My wrap canvas started as an 8x10, but the dimensions for the inside of the frame are 6x8. On the sign space, I added three white rectangles with our new measurements to act as a template. Then I went ahead and searched for the designs I wanted for my canvases and added them to my project. Next, I adjusted the size of each of the images until it fit inside the template correctly. For this project, I used heat transfer vinyl because it works best on canvas. With the help of a brayer, I made sure I applied my vinyl flat on my mat, making sure I place the shiny side down. Before printing the images, make sure to remove the templates we created because you don't want those to print out. Also, since we're using iron on vinyl, don't forget to mirror your designs before cutting. I'll be using my Cricut machine to cut the vinyl, but if you don't have one, an alternative is to sketch out a design on your canvas and paint it, which I think it would look super cute as well. Once I was done cutting all of my vinyl, I weeded the images with the help of an LED light pad. If you're having trouble weeding glitter HTV, you can pour a little bit of baby powder on the back side of the design and rub, brush off the access, and now you should be able to see the creases of the cuts more clearly. After weeding the images, I turned on my heat press and set the temperature to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Then I centered the image on the canvas and made sure it was by taking the frame and placing it on top. Next, I took my heat mat and placed the canvas on top, then I set the timer to 30 seconds. Once it was warm, I peeled off the clear carrier sheet, then I placed the Teflon sheet on top and heated it one more time for a few seconds from the front and the back. I repeated the same process for the other two canvases. Next, I placed the frame over the canvas sheet and traced around it. Then I trimmed off the access. Carefully flip the frame over and with a staple gun, reattach the canvas to the back of the wooden frame. You could also use a hot glue gun if you would like. I repeated the same process for the rest of the canvases. I love the way these reverse canvases turned out. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week with a new DIY.